we're gonna start um, get, we're gonna think about this uh, if there is one person who is really um, excellent in one part or one field then the person doesn't need to be advised by some other people because he knows that um, the quintessence or the essence of that field but if that person goes to the other field then they know nothing about it so that is the reason why some elites are scammed easily so it may sound a little bit strange but if you are really excellent in terms of the gospel in other words if you really realize the essence of the gospel then you will be connected to the creator God who made all the universe so that means you will understand the basic principle of the universe like the creation so no matter what the field may be you can have the forum in the field and you can also give some advice uh, so that is why if you are raising children like if you're a parent or if you're a teacher or if you are the remnant then you cannot help people only with the herd of love like just because you love the person doesn't mean that you can really help the person uh, sometimes we help people or our children out of the pure love but if that advice is not from God then it may help kind of um, not the intended way so uh, we love our children that is why we give them food we give them clothes and we teach them well but if we fail to teach the worship or if, if we fail to show what the prayer is then unfortunately it will be almost the same as raising the pretty pets but the pets have no evil intention but if people do not know how to love God they are evil they are bound to be evil so we should not think about it, uh, whether this child or people are nice to me or not we have to just care about whether my child or my student looks nice to the Lord or not so uh, sometimes the parents uh, ask me this question do I have to force my child to go to the worshiping place when they really don't like it then before we ask that question we have to think about why that child doesn't want to go to the worshiping place uh, it would not be from the birth um, maybe he or she has seen the life that is okay without God whether it's the family or the church or the school they saw it so today we have to see that God put the blessing and the curse before us and there is no other option in between there uh, it's either of two we listen and obey to the Word of God or we hate the Word of God there is nothing like in between um, so actually most of the people don't listen to the Word of God so it's only Jesus or no Jesus uh, some kids may ask me like this like teacher I believe in Jesus but I don't think my faith is as large as only you may say so but um, it's different you have the seed of the faith but it just is the matter of time as time goes by you will go through your journey and it will be the faith of only in the end so that is why um, the people that the child meets in the journey really matter like what kind of parent or what kind of teacher or what kind of friends that determines a lot of things so remnants um, you have to think of the meeting really um, important at first you choose to make uh, your friend but that meeting will determine a lot of things after that the meeting will lead your life in the end so today we read the uh, uh, passage of Solomon um, we can see that Solomon raised the bodies of you know the thousand burnt offering and I can see that that is the concentration of the Word of God he gave thousand burnt offering um, after that offerings God appeared to him and said um, God asked Solomon what do you want 
And then, before answering what he wanted, Solomon、um, pointed the past and the present. Like he knew that God, it, it is God who led him this far. And from his father's time, he read the history. And then he said that God, it is you who put me on this position of the king. So he confessed. The absolute sovereignty of God, and then he asked for the wisdom to do the errand of God well. So I can see that Solomon's past and present and future were gospelized. Oh, it is you, Lord, who put me here. That was gospelizing the past, and he was not drunk or fascinated by his position as a king. But he wanted to know why God put me in this position of a king, so he knew that he needed the wisdom from God to be、um, doing this errand well. That is specializing today, and then he knew that all he needed was the wisdom to discern the good and evil to stand upright in the future. So that is globalizing the future. So、um, today we can see that. Like if you just、uh, see simply, then you can see that、uh, when you pray, then you'll be answered, just like Solomon. If you pray a lot, then you'll be answered. Yes, that's right. But we have to confirm whether I am having the right prayer topic. If you have your own wish and listen to the word of God, then you will never be able to understand what God is telling you right now. So when we solemnly concentrate on the word of God, then you will finally want. What you have to want, what God wants to give you, that will be your want. You will be able to see your past and present and future within this Word of God.、Um, if you count how many worship services you have had this far, it will be more than thousand times. But if you just、uh, sit there, that is not the offering.、Um, Oh, I I gave the worship. I attended a worship service, but still I am here. Still, my wish is not coming true. That is not the worship.、Um, in the Old Testament time, it was the burnt offering, but now it is the time that we have to enjoy the name of Christ that finished it all, and it is the time of conquering、uh, with that name. But because of our different imprint and different root and nature, we hear but we cannot hear. And we hear the word of God, but still we're in a conflict.、Um, even with the name of the Christ, we spend our time having the conflict. This week, I have a chance to read a book, and in the book, I clearly could see why、uh, still we are behind the Jewish.、Um, I could read that you know the Jewish they start their life with the sense of identity as the holy people of the Lord. So, all their concern is all about how can I live a better child of God? Like how can I please God? They do not have the conflict about God, but we, the Gentiles, we believe in God, and then we still have the conflict. After Jesus Christ finished it all, we still have the conflict of whether I received a salvation or not, and we've tried to find. The blessing is the child of God in the material things, and we live for ourselves. So that is the difference. In the Old Testament time, the burnt offering was the life, but now we have the life that is the name of Jesus Christ. So when we say like you have to listen to the word of God and obey, it doesn't mean that we go back to the laws. But it is to enjoy the blessing of the throne as a child of God. Um, what we have to do is the concentration on prayer, and today we see that Solomon's prayer pleased the Lord. The Lord was pleased with what Solomon asked for. The Lord Himself says,、uh, He didn't ask for a long living, or He didn't ask for the wealth.
for himself and he didn't want to kill somebody else to be more successful than the person like he didn't ask for the revenge um, this living long and wealth and success is something that we are familiar with they are Genesis 3 6 and 11 but Solomon's prayer was different his prayer was to gain um, the things of God as mine Solomon knew that the wisdom that he needed belonged to the Lord without the wisdom of God it was impossible to stand as a king he knew that and he also knew that without being able to do the errand well even the long life even the wealth and the success were useless and meaningless to Solomon so here is the question like if God asks you like what do you want now then what will you say um, in order to seek properly and correctly you need to know what your life is for your final ministry your life covenant only when you know that can you seek that properly just like today's passage the rest will be added automatically so when you see verse 15 that we didn't read the um, Solomon who received the answer he came back to the burnt offering and he gave thanks offering again so before the answers even after the answers Solomon was giving the offering he was worshiping the Lord that was his identity and this person can see what is really needed in the field so that is never before and never after um, when you see verse 12 you can see that God blesses Solomon as the king who will who was not there before and will never be again so that was actually fulfilled we see that Solomon is a kind of pronoun of the wisdom the wise king let me write down first this is the bodizen in my field and the bodizen for our nation and the bodizen for the world Um, after the concentration of the thousand burnt offering that prayer topic of seeking the wisdom raised Solomon as the king who has never before and never after and after that there is a kind of interesting story that we all know the two women who brought one baby claiming that this is my baby so that was really a tragic that was you know before they met Solomon it was a kind of tragic incident but to the person who raised the bodies of the wisdom it what it became the kind of historic event um, remnant is the person who solved the problem in the field that cannot be solved by people that is the remnant because of this one event in verse 28 you um, let me read it to you the verse 28 it says uh, when all Israel heard the verdict the king had given they held a king in O because they saw that he had wisdom from God to administer justice so the whole Israelites could see that and they were in O the reason is not because Solomon was a great person or scary but because they could see that God's wisdom was in him Today there is conclusion that is the same as the topic. It's nobody, nobody's partisan. Um, everyone is busy, uh, but if you say like I have too many types of the work that I have to do, I have too many work, uh, the the things that I have to do, then the things will be really tough. But if your covenant is clear, then what you have to do will be clear and what I have to seek for that work will be clear too when it comes to the gospel there is no conflict when if you are in the conflict you have to come back to the covenant and confirm it again we need to have be sure of not shaking in terms of covenant never again 
the person of the covenant uh, will become that nobody when they find the covenant. So think about it. A king asking for the wisdom, anyone can do so, but there is the work that only I can see right now. Before we think about what is that work, we have to remember there was Solomon's thousand burnt offering. So that means until the day we really raise our bodies in, we really need the time of concentration. It may not take place today, but we should not be discouraged by that. Um, until the thousand burnt offering, there was first offering, second offering, and third offering, and a hundred and two hundred. Nothing happened until he raised the bodies in of the thousand burnt offering. So may you really find what you can do in the field and what you have to do and what only you can do in the field by concentrating on the word of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Help us concentrate on the word and prayer to raise the bodies of nobody that we, uh, we may be able to receive answers of never before and never after. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.